to another helping of my favorite foods today. It's a road trip all the way to the east coast of Spain. I'm gonna learn how to make paella valenciana. I know there's gonna be lots of schooling. These guys have 60 years experience. Meet David. He's the chef who's gonna teach me how to perfect a paella valenciana. We're letting the pan get hot very exciting. And then we add about 100 ml or a third of a cup of olive oil into the center. This is going to be interesting. Vale, está calentando. Para que se dore bien, lo vamos a dejar un poquito que caliente. Okay. So okay. here's the interesting thing. This paella starts with chicken and rabbit. Oh. Just before it starts to smoke, we add the meat. Es problema. So here we're really looking, it's all about the eye, we're looking for it to be golden brown. The challenge here is, can I make a paella as good as Davide? I don't know. I'm going to try my best. Esto es un tango. Tango. Tango Paris. Tango Valenciano. Do a little pan shaking, tango, and cook about 10 to 15 minutes until the chicken is perfectly golden brown. Right in here, all those crispy bits, that's the flavor. So he's really creating almost a little demi-glaze. We take a break now. We've been cooking for too long. Ah, salud, salud. salud. So here it's really important that it's gently cooked and it's properly done. So this this probably takes the longest. Sometimes you think the rice is going to take a long time, but it's really the meat that has to cook. That's perfect. This one also perfect. Okay. So artichokes from here, beans from here. Artichokes are seasonal in the fall, which I always see them in spring. So notice a lot of greens, meat. I don't see any seafood yet. I, I'm afraid to ask David. Am I supposed to have fish? When the chef, who runs the restaurant that's also known as the Cathedral of Rice, tells you there's no seafood in Paella Valenciana, that's it. End of story. No more questions. Continue to brown for five to eight minutes until the veggies are golden. Exciting. Oh, rico, muy rico. Muy rico. Allí tenemos tres chicos que ellos quieren más excitantes. <laughs> oh, yeah. The more paellas, the more exciting it is, of course. Two, dos, go, uno. uno Add uno. tomato puree. Uno. Colorante, which is a local blend of saffron and color and the pimenton, which is Spanish paprika that's smoked but mild. All this goes into the center to blend well with oil. Now we add the J. Sendra variety of rice, which is similar to La Bomba, a handful per person. And mix. Okay. So two minutes, it's good now. Okay. Add the caldo or chicken broth and shake. Now bring on the big element so it's super hot. 
it's important to make sure all the rice is submerged. Media. Media. Okay. Media garlic. Vale. Oh. Add rosemary. Okay. Now it's all about the shimmy. But this sucker is hot. Okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. He's daring me right now. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Tasting is important for seasoning and to also check the rice grain is still intact. Wow. I smell the garlic. Oh, things are getting hot in Valencia. The fire is crazy hot right now. I would be tending to turn it down, but he said at this point you want a super high fire. The high boil here reduces the liquid because rice doesn't start to absorb liquid until the five or six minute mark. If it's too dry, add more broth. If it's too wet, crank the heat. I'm going to intensity of the fire. David is telling me something very important. You have to make sure that it, the bottom is socara, which means like fried. You have to have that perfect moment. He's going to explain to me, yeah. how do you know? Yes. Reduce heat until this golden film starts forming. Skin, this little skin that's coming around, that's telling him how the rice is cooking. The starch is coming out of the rice. He's looking at every single thing, and the level of moisture has come down. Excitante. Yo meto la cuchara aquí ah. y la puedo menear. Si la puedo menear es que no hay nada que ah, ahí. I get it. Okay. You want the spoon to have resistance ah, when you lift it. That means the bottom is nicely textured or socara. It's perfect. Unbelievable. All right. Sam, ahora sí puedes. Ahora puedes participar ya. Yeah, this is looking perfect. Sam, Sam. So this is the key here. You got to have that crunchiness in the bottom. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my God. That's amazing. Wow. You never had a paella like this in your life. Holy cow, it's great. Thank you for joining me on My Favorite Foods. We got to go eat this beautiful paella valenciana.